let us look at this question <clears throat> what does it say write the equation of the graph below now uh, for level 2 or year 12 students you should know this is a parabola so there are different ways of writing the equation of a parabola so one I'll discuss both the ways I've got two different ways I am going to discuss so here one one thing is to look at the x-intercept and the y-intercept so the x-intercept this is one x-intercept and this is the other x-intercept so x-intercept you can see it is one comma zero and this is this is minus one minus two minus three comma zero okay that's one thing that you can see the other thing that you can see is this is minus one minus two minus three so this is zero comma minus three and the other thing you have to these are the features or the main features of the parabola so the vertex is this is say negative one and this is negative four so this point is negative one comma negative four so <clears throat> by just looking at <clears throat> the x-intercept i can say well the equation seems to be it is x minus one times x plus three now how did i do that how, how could i write this this is by looking at the x-intercept the x-intercept is one or in other words x-intercept x-intercept is one comma zero that means when y is zero x is one so i'm thinking if y is zero when what would this become or this bracket let me change color so my i'm asking the question when y is zero suppose if i said y is equal to zero so zero is equal to x minus one times x plus three okay so obviously x has to be one to make this zero and to make this zero x has to be minus three so to put this in simple words if it is the transformation if suppose i'm presuming that this is the transformation of y is equal to x squared now this is the basic parabola y is equal to x squared so this parabola has moved uh, has moved to the left and down okay and i'm presuming that this is the transformation of this so the equation has to be this now how can i check okay so <clears throat> if you put say uh if you put what is two when x is two what is y okay so this is okay or when x is zero in other words to you can check on the y intercept when x is zero you get the y intercept so when you put x is equal to zero so y would be equal to zero minus one times zero plus three which is nothing but negative one times three which is negative three so this equation does make sense if i write x y is equal to x minus one times x plus three this is fine this is also if you want to check one more step suppose when if if say x is 2 does it tally with the if when x is 2 this is 2 y seems to be 5 so this is 2 comma 5 so let us put 2 into this equation and see so the equation that we have is y is x minus 1 times x plus 3 so if you put 2 into this this is 2 minus 1 times 2 plus 3 2 minus 1 is 1 times 5 so y is 5 so that does tally so my guess is right so the equation is x minus 1 times x plus 3 okay now <coughs> this is fine but it's always good to write in the vertex form so yeah basically if you look at the parabola what has happened to the parabola if I'm my guess was right that this is a transformation of this parabola y is equal to x squared so let me draw y is equal to x squared. What do I mean by y is equal to x squared? So the y is equal to x squared graph looks like this. So this is 0, 0. This is minus 1, 1. Minus 2, 4. And 2, 4. So this is say y is equal to x squared. The graph of y is equal to x squared would look like this. This is a rough sketch of y is equal to x squared. OK. Now this parabola has moved, this parabola has moved 
one to the left and four down okay with this this my graph my parabola doesn't match with this but this is y is equal to x squared so if this is a transformation of this parabola it has moved i'm only looking at the vertex so the vertex for y is equal to x squared is zero zero so if you only look at the vertex the vertex has moved one to the left and four down so i'm saying this can also be written as y is equal to it has moved one to the left so i'll write x plus one squared and four down minus four so does this and this match that's what i want to confirm so this i'm saying this and this are the same so let us see whether they are the same so let me expand this this is a very useful if you know how to write a parabola in this form uh, you can do many things if you are able to write like this. Now, just to explain what I mean, uh, let me delete this. So let me use a different color. Say, so let me expand this. So this is nothing but x plus one times x plus one minus four. So this is equal to x squared. This is plus x plus x, which is plus two x uh, plus one minus 4, which is nothing but x squared plus 2x minus 3. And if you factorize this, which are the two factors of minus 3, which gives you plus 2 are uh, x minus 1, x plus 3. So can you see these two are the same? So this, if you write this or this, both are the same equation. Okay, now for the next question, this form would be super helpful. So what has happened now? If this graph is translated so that the vertex is at vertex is at 1, 2. So what they're saying is, now if this parabola is translated so that this vertex of minus 1, minus 4 now is sitting at 1, 2. So this is say 1 and 2. Okay, so basically what they're saying is, what happens if this parabola is, this vertex is translated here, what will be the equation of that parabola? So here, that parabola, so let me draw that parabola, just to give you an understanding of what's happening. So this parabola, it would now look like this. My graph is not exact, so this, parab this parabola has translated to this parabola. So here... I can say, well, that is same as translating y is equal to x squared, 1 to the right, and 2 up. So I would say, this, okay, let me explain what I'm saying. So this, this parabola, this, this green parabola is the basic parabola. And this drawn parabola is a transformation of y is equal to x squared. So if this parabola, the drawn parabola, parabola of the question is a transformation of this. This black parabola is also a transformation of the basic parabola, y is equal to x squared. So I'm saying this parabola, y is equal to x squared, so let me write this, y is equal to x squared has moved one to the right, has moved one to the right, and it has gone up to, and we want to write the equation of that parabola. So I say that would be y is equal to it has moved 1 to the right, so I'll write x minus 1 squared plus 2. Okay, so that will be the new, new equation <clears throat> or the, the equation of the translated parabola. Okay, just to confirm, let me show you this on the, all these equations on the graphic calculator. You should be having a graphic calculator. So get your graphic calculators out. So the first... Okay, so let me, so the first equation, so we wrote two equation of this uh, parabola. So let us, let me write both the equations. So you go to graph and then type in. The first was bracket x minus 1 comma x plus 3. Just to confirm these features. So this is the. So let me make a bigger scale, so 10 by 10, standard scale, 
So this is the parabola. So to confirm the x-intercept, you go g-sol root. Okay, so this is one root minus three zero. The other is one zero. And if you go g-sol minimum, this point is the vertex is the minimum. So minimum is minus one minus four. And the y-intercept, you press f four is zero negative three. So what I said was this and this are the same. So let me draw, let me type in this equation. Very interesting, you can see that they are both the same. So I'll write both the equation and then the calculator will draw the same graph. See, it has drawn the same graph. Okay, so if you delete this, just to confirm, yes, the same parabola. So G sol root, <coughs> is all minimum okay now what we are saying is the next in the next question we said this equation has a vertex of 1 comma 2 so let let me type that so delete and type in bracket x minus 1 squared plus 2 we just want to confirm the vertex the vertex is here so you go g sol and minimum 1 comma 2. So one interesting feature of this parabola is that it doesn't have any x-intercept. Okay, It doesn't have. The problem with this equation is you can write this only if you have the x-intercept. Whereas here, if this equation is given in the, in the, in the expanded form, you can't find the x-intercept because it doesn't intersect the x-axis. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I will continue doing few more merit questions. Okay, now before I uh, stop, I will show you the answers from the marking schedule. So this is one answer, the first answer, and this is the second answer. Okay, of course you had to draw it. Okay, so let me go back. The question was, you had to, if this is, okay, find the y-intercept. Okay, okay, I didn't answer that question. Okay, so let me answer that question. It's good I checked my answer. Find Then find the y-intercept. So this is the equation. So the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So, so put x equal to 0, y is equal to 0 minus 1 squared plus 2, which is 1 plus 2, which is 3. So the y-intercept is 0, 3. You should write like this. If you do only write 3, you may not get the merit code. And so that's what they're asking. So transformed equation is this. And the y-intercept is 0, 3. See you in the next video.